Well guys, we're kicking off this off season right with doing some of my favorite things. Home projects. <laughs> Absolute favorite thing that I get to do during the off season because I have a little more time to. But this home project's gonna be with our friend Sam at his shop. He wants to redo the whole shop, make it nice, redo the floors, clean it all out. And I was like, you know what? That's my cup of tea. So we're gonna be heading over there today. We just picked up a bunch of stuff from Lowe's and redoing his shop. I'm excited. I am. I love cleaning stuff. Oh yeah, your concrete's like totally too. Couple different colors. Oh, absolutely. Uh huh. That was here when I moved in. <laughs> Do you have a like a big trash can here, or are you the gonna dumpster? take everything to the dump? I take everything to the dump. Okay. I can unhook the truck though, and we can throw everything on the back of the truck. Okay. It's probably the best way to do it. <laughs> Progress is definitely being made, right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're doing good. I'm still lost on what to do on this this counter right here. We're gonna end up painting this black, yeah. the tops of it black. Yeah. I feel like I feel like this is just like an extreme home makeover. Yeah. You know, the line goes move that bus. <laughs> we gotta figure out still what to do back here. Are we pulling this? <laughs> but, but we're not pulling that. Is it not bolted? Yeah, we just can't pull the shock dyno. That's the only thing we cannot pull. Okay. Everything else can come. Benches and all can come. We can work around that. What's this? Yes. Yes? <laughs> Dude, this thing looks like it's from like 1850. No, no, no. Hold up. There's a switch here. It looks like an old sewing machine switch from 1850. You can be on two shows. Extreme Home Makeover and Hoarders. What is it? What is that? I don't think it's a sander, man. Yeah, it is. It's got a, it's got a file right there. It's a filer. Oh, filer. The file's done. Sketchy. Meanwhile, we have black being turned around the SJ. Mo's not on the clock right now, so no help is being attained on that side. Officially on the painting part, but I don't think we're gonna have enough paint. I didn't imagine it to go on this thin, so I think we're gonna put the first coat, then take the bucket to Lowe's if we do run out, and try to color match it decently, maybe a shade darker, so that we're able to get a full covered area in our patchy paint job. We're gonna pressure wash this, then put coal in the cracks here, let it sit overnight, come back in the morning, and then prime it, let that sit for all day. Come back the next day, paint it, and uh, we should be we should be rocking and rolling. And we won't be bringing everything back in because all of this is trash. That thing from 1962 is trash. All of that's trash. We're only we're only bringing back in the good stuff. So if we organize it right, it should look right. Just the average man water is concrete. <laughs> on the skid seer or home renovations. Well guys, I just got back here. I was gone for two days. I'd go to a meeting in Michigan. So they've been hard at work. I'm gonna see, kinda see where they left off and try to help out and get everything wrapped up with them. It looks like they've made some pretty good progress. So we went ahead and epoxied the floors and then we kinda messed up the epoxy and had to redo it and three times. And then we put the uh, graphics on the bench that you started painting and uh, clear-cutted them. So 
It's looking good. Really, really good. The looks floor looks really good. I think we should do that to our garage. Right now, we, we've got the panels that are way over there. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put those along this wall here to, like, cover that yeah. area. I think that would clean it up a lot. You like it? These things are dialed. What flavor is that one? Barbecue? I didn't know there was different flavors. There's so many different. There's Cajun. What else? There's, like, there's a bunch cheddar. of them. I got the cheddar one. First yeah. form. Dude, these protein sticks are badass. <laughs> Putting people on them. These are the panels that we're putting up. They look good. Yeah, really good. That paint came out good on them. Yeah. This is this is the most satisfying part for me. Throwing away random shit that just needed to be thrown away for a long time. That's the sound of amazingness right there. So all the metal sheets have got painted. Sam right now is putting up some boards, like makeshift brackets for the panels that we're gonna be putting up. So as soon as he's done with that, we're gonna start throwing those panels right up. You just need something just so the panels won't shake. Cause they're gonna be bracketed right here. Like this is 10 foot, but the panels are 14 long. So just like the center sections where they overlap that they don't flop around everywhere. Like the edge lays up. So these will just hold it just enough for like, so they don't flop around. First piece came out so good you can see it behind me it like that's definitely what's gonna change the shop the most I think the floors definitely was a huge change but the actual walls getting put up is like night and day difference it looks so much better the steel that was used was actually left over from when they built the shop like the addition to it and it was just laying in the grass I think it was red and then he had painted it black so it looks a ton better I don't know why whenever it comes like garages shops Black and gray is like the way to go. Always looks top tier. I'm gonna make myself useful right now. I got my little cap, my water bottle cap of the paint that they use on the steel panels. I got some Q-tips and I'm gonna paint the bolts that they used and make them black because right now they're like orange and they kind of stick out. We gotta make it You want an honest man but you don't understand I won't be here when You wake up again You want an honest man Besides, besides just pushing everything in, yeah. which is we're gonna do another day, but. Besides that, well, how many days did you think this project was gonna take? Well, see, the project started as, hey, let's just clean this thing out. Yeah. And then it was like, well, if we clean it out, might as well epoxy the floors. And if we epoxy the floors, well, then we should do, we should do this. And yeah. then that turned into, let's put the walls in. <laughs> so it's just like keeps piling more and more. So I, I don't know. It's, we get four days now we always get carried away with project overall it came out badass like came out absolutely sick especially like where it started the organization of it once everything gets back in here it's gonna look so put together the wall looks sick i love this wall down here looks awesome definitely a big big upgrade a lot of work a lot of work for chase sam i dipped for two days so a little bit less work for me but overall probably one of the coolest episodes of What's, what's that show called? Extreme Garage extreme Makeover. Garage, extreme Garage Makeover. You know the first episode? Move that bus! Move that <laughs> Move that trailer! <laughs> you want an honest man, but you don't understand. I won't be here when you wake up again.